of the weather report. Uh, today we wanted to provide you an update with our, uh, to our persecution video of the Chinese um, Catholics. And so if you recall a few months ago, or if you're a new viewer, check it out. A few months ago we did a video on the persecution of Chinese Catholics, and I'd like Brett to provide an update. Okay, well, a few things have happened since then. The main thing is that the Vatican has announced that they will be renewing the, the secret agreement between the Vatican and the country of China. Um, the Vatican, as a country, is part of the United Nations. China, as a country, is part of the United Nations. The rules of the United Nations state you may not have a secret agreement, and yet we're going to have one, and then we're going to double down and have it again. The announcement was made by uh, Archbishop Sarando, him who believes that uh, the best uh, example of Catholic teaching is the Communist Party of China. So, what has been going on? I, you may remember I told you about a, a poor priest, um, Father Huang Jintao, um, who was uh, tortured so that he would uh, join the Chinese Patriotic Association. He was kidnapped, held for four days, with four 1,000 watt lights shining in his eyes 24 hours a day for four days straight. He cracked. Um, and it was put out on Bitter Winter on their website, on their magazine. Well, that did not suit the Chinese at all. They're very upset that we all know about this now. Um, it's, you know, they're, they're just, okay, what has happened since? A local government insider explained that because of the closures of unregistered Catholic churches um, had been reported, uh, the authorities chose Father Huang as a target to make him join, demonstrating that they're on course to eliminate unregistered churches. My superior said that any means should be used to make him sign. If necessary, he could be disappeared. Um, that's what he was. That's what he was told, and that's what he did. Um, the Vatican, of course, asked the government not to attack or threaten Catholic conscientious objectors, but the government turns a blind eye to this, persecuting priests without scruples and clamoring with the Vatican in public. A priest told Bitter Winter, "The Communist Chinese." Party is atheist, so it will continue persecuting Catholics and make all people of faith believe in communism in the end. The Pope does not see its essence clearly, still has illusions about it, and the unregistered Catholics are facing a calamity. This priest hopes that the international community will see that the CCP government persecutes the Catholic Church and that the Pope will realize that it is a mistake to negotiate with the communist regime. Quote, we can't just sing praises to the Pope. We also have to convey true and objective information on the persecution of the church, hoping that he will listen to our voice of criticism to self-reflect and do something to help us. Cardinal Zen asked Pope Francis, asked the Vatican, pardon me, to, to deny that they are receiving $2 billion from the Chinese. As of today, that denial has not happened. Over to you. Yeah, um, Cardinal Zen, he, so recently, like, the Chinese government took over Hong Kong. Yes. And I, I did see a statement by Cardinal Zen where he said that he would not back down from anything he has said. He would continue to speak out as until he was arrested. And so... Hasn't happened I, yet. It has, hasn't, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see it's what happens. It's only a matter of time. They seem to have no shame. I don't think the bad, or the, I don't think the Chinese government would have a problem arresting an 87 year old man. No. no. So, so we, so please consider that in your thoughts. Please consider that in your prayers. Um, I'm just a member of the laity, but I will not be silent. We will not be silent. Yeah, pray, definitely pray for China. Um, thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day.